All right, on this episode of What's in a Box, I'm gonna do a very necessary upgrade to the CVL. I keep telling myself I was gonna go slow, but I can't do this. I'm riding the CVO around. My back's starting to hurt. Never hurt me on a road glide. The seat I thought was comfortable, but I guess that's part of the problem. So I did order an Advan Black uh, seat like I have on my road glide. So let's see what I ordered that's in the box. Full instructions, some stickers, spacers, washers, and the Revo's. These are Revo A's with the rebounds adjustment. Uh, I got the gold, I don't know why, just wanted to stand out. So basically, even though you're not going to see the gold, So we're gonna pop these out. These are the stock shocks. Just takes a three quarter inch socket, put it on the jack, you're good to go. Takes no time at all. Just to compare the two. Now, the stock is a 12 inch. This is a 13 inch that I went with because it's just a better overall shock, more uh, adjustability, and it has the rebound. A 12 inch doesn't have the rebound adjustment. So you can see the difference side by side. When I take it out, I'll show you even more. But real quick, I'm going to pop these out, pop these in, and we're good to go. Uh, the reason why I didn't go with the reservoirs, which would have been, shit, another like $1,000 probably. I don't need it. I mainly ride one up. Sometimes my girlfriend comes with me and we go two up. Um, but it's mostly one up. I like long distance riding. I'm not crazy in the turns. I don't need that... Uh, Especially on this, I'm not going as fast as I do to my glide, my road glide. Um, so I'm looking for more comfort than I am handling. So that's why I'm going with the, uh, with this. I don't think I need the reservoir for those. The uh, There's a lot more adjustability in those. And if I was more into performance and those tight turns and you know, really hitting on the turns, tail the dragon every week, then I would have went with the other one. This should be fine. So I'll let you know how it goes. So let's get to taking this off, putting those on, and see how it goes. Okay, three quarter inch. I'm gonna pop these off. Let's see what happens. Okay, you don't want to reuse the large washer, but you're gonna reuse the bolt. Same goes for the top. We're not gonna reuse that washer. Okay, now let's compare. These are those side by side. Stock, I use a CVO. I don't think there's any difference between this and a stock C, uh, Street Glide. All right, except for this is 12 inches, this is 13 inches. But with the sag, which you could adjust on this, you can adjust on these, it's like a half inch difference in um, Rideability and size, uh, seat height. So these are again, these are the differences. Try to look at the difference. From what I understand, I mean the coils. These American-made coils, steel coil. This you could feel it, it's a like shitty coil. So compare the two, and again you have the adjustability for the sag, and for the uh, oh, sorry, it's upside down. You have. From one to six adjustment, one being a very stiff ride, six being a very uh, soft ride. So depending on what you want. I want it at, I'm sorry, one is soft, six is stiff. I want to put it around two. Three is pretty much what you got with this, right in the middle. You have no choice. You can do three on this and it'll be fine. It's a combination of both. I want to go a little soft, I'm going to try two. And the sag, I got to set. So 
That's the difference in the two. We'll do the same thing to the other side. You have one, one right way to put this on, one wrong way. Say you have the silver label on here. Let's see it. Okay. The silver label, ugh, the silver label has to go in towards the bike. Okay. So to know if you have it the right way, the silver label goes in, the rebound goes out towards the back, you know you have the right side. If you do it the wrong way, and you put the silver label in, the rebound's gonna go to the front of the bike, you don't want that. So now that I know the right orientation, you wanna have the big washer going inboard and the, the smaller washer coming out. Okay, so you're gonna put the original OEM bolt, small washer through here to the big washer, okay? I'll put this on first. I'm just gonna start it, kind of let it uh, just dangle. It's about the angle of the dangle. Okay. Before I forget, I wanna use some blue Loctite. Let me just start it for now, I'll add this in a second. Okay, now you have the bottom bolt, we'll do the same thing. Supplied washers, one big, one small, one thin, one thick. Okay, same thing. So we're going back. Okay. This obviously doesn't work, so we gotta lower the bike a little bit. I'm using just a little slow to get it right. Here's the problem. Here's a problem that I didn't uh, foresee. The problem is I have 12 inch shocks on the other side. The stock ones are 12 inch. So because that's still attached on the other side, it's not letting me put the bike in the right position and put the lower bolt in. So I'm gonna have to take this second side off too. <sighs> so let me go do that. Now, I should have released the swing arm enough to where we could do that. Come back to this side. play here you want to have that okay that's a good thing all right i gotta check the torque specs on this but basically that's it this side's on i gotta do the other side then i'm gonna torque it down and then uh, i'm gonna set the sag so let me just do the other side real quick okay again silver side inside Again, the silver side goes inside. Got the original bolt, throw out that washer. One small, one big. The blue lock tied on both. Turn what you want. 
Okay. I already adjusted the rebound to two. We're gonna do the sag. I gotta check the uh, the torque settings, and uh, that'll be about it. And let's come back for the sag. Okay. So apparently it's hard to get the exact torque specs. I've read pretty much anywhere around 35 to 40 ish. Uh, don't go above 50 is what legend says. Some of the uh, manuals say even higher, but that's with the stock OEM washer. This doesn't have the stock OEM washer. It has to pivot. So I'm going to go with 40. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 40 with some blue Loctite should work. Let's try it out. Let's go with 40 again. I like it. Doing the same on the other side. set and I just set the sag if even if you're not mechanically inclined anybody could do shocks it's so easy it literally takes 15 minutes all you need is a three quarter inch um, socket you need a torque you should get a torque wrench if you don't have one and some blue Loctite that's it and you're gonna have a much better ride but let's do the sag first I like a cold one when you adjust the sag It's actually called Fly Flying Cauldron Non-Alcoholic Butterscotch Beer. I'm, I didn't even know I got non-alcoholic. So it's not like I have to drink non-alcoholic. I don't want to. It actually doesn't even taste good. I just picked the wrong one. So anybody want to bring over a real beer? beer? Come on over. Until then, I'm drinking my... Butterscotch beer, non-alcoholic. All done. I should have videoed the sag adjustment. It's not hard. Uh, I had my son come over. He weighs about the same as me. Uh, anyway, it's an easy install. The only problem is doing a sag because you need somebody to help you. Unless you want to get like a couple hundred pounds of rice to throw on there. I don't know, dog food. Whatever it is, easy install. I'll let you know in the comments how the ride is, if I notice a difference or not. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on the ride, but it's just going to be me riding around and saying, wow, this is great. So I'll let you know. Uh, until the next video, ride safe. Oh, hit the like and subscribe. I appreciate it. I'm starting to pump those numbers up now. I like it. I'm thinking about doing a live chat soon. So let's see how that works out. Uh, comment below and let me know what you think. Revo, Owings, Pro Action. I was thinking about going with Pro Action. And I approached them. I said, hey, uh, I'm thinking about using your uh, Pro Action in exchange. I'll do a fair review on your shocks. And the thing is, uh, they, they offered a discount. It wasn't about the money. I just didn't want to invest $900 on a pair of shocks I know nothing about. The only videos out there on Pro Action are put out by ProAction. There's nobody else that did any videos yet. So if I did a video, it would have been good. However, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not rich. <laughs> I'm not gonna just throw on a pair of uh, shocks, although there's supposedly very good shocks. So if you have ProAction, put it in the comments. I'm curious what you think about them. I, there's just not enough data out there on what data, however you say it, data, data. There's not enough out there for me to invest that money on a pair of shocks. I'm going with what um, pretty much everybody does, either Legends or Olean's. But I am curious about the Pro Action. I may put the Pro Action in the front. I haven't done the front yet. What are your thoughts on that? Do you do the rear and the front at the same time? Do you do the rear first? Do you do the front? Um, that's next, but that's another grand, so I'm waiting on that. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.